At Farms.com Risk Management, we understand that commodity price risk management and sound financial advice are essential in today's volatile crop and swine sectors. Visit our website at www.riskmanagement.farms.com. This is Michelle Lamarin, Commodity Research Analyst with Farms.com Risk Management with this week's Farms.com Crop Report. The USDA released their agricultural baseline projections on February 14, 2011 and the outlook was good. A lower U.S. dollar, continued expansion in the ethanol and biofuel sector and strong demand contributed to the overall positive outlook for all grain markets. Looking at projected plantings for 2011, corn plantings are projected at 92 million acres with production rising to 13.76 billion bushels versus the 12.447 billion bushels in 2010. Soybean plantings for 2011 are projected at 78 million acres with production at 3.355 billion bushels up from the 3.329 billion bushels in 2010. 2011 wheat plantings are projected at 57 million acres with production at 2.125 billion bushels down from 2010's 2.208 billion bushels. And U.S. 2011 cotton acreage is projected at 12.8 million acres, up 2 million acres from 2010. The USDA's baseline projections support previous thoughts that demand will, be, will remain strong, supplies will remain tight, and growing incomes and populations will continue to stretch supplies and yields, which will need to improve in order to meet demand. It's very important to note that with the USDA's projections this time around, they're basically saying that every single acre that it could, that farmers can possibly plant in the U.S. must be planted in order to meet their demands for, in order to, sorry, in order to meet the amount of acres that are going to be needed to meet demand this year. Th what they're asking for is an all-time record high level for 2008, one that we didn't even reach in 2008 for plantings. So it should be interesting to see what, per what portion of the fields that farmers decide to dedicate to soybeans, corn, wheat, cotton, and so forth. Looking now at the latest USDA weekly grain exports for the week ending February 10th, 2011, soybeans, wheat and corn all fell within or above expectations which is very encouraging news for the markets. Strong export sales in spite of low domestic supplies will, provo will provide positive support to the grain markets. China typically tends to start purchasing soybeans from Brazil this time of the year which has led to some cancellations in recent weeks. This coupled with reports that Brazil could potentially have a record crop this year may be shifting some business from the U.S. to South America. In the past couple of days, we've seen some rebalancing in the markets, which included a drop in prices after an announcement that China is once again increasing their reserve rate today. This is a one-day event and prices will correct next week. There's no reason to panic, just hold off. We're still expecting those historically high prices. That's all for this week. Have a great weekend.